Nadia, let's start with you. What happened? Well, um, I think at the beginning we tried to uh, find consensus on, uh, on different topics, but um, at a certain point our negotiation team recognized that there's a lack of trust and also that there are some issues we uh, cannot find a common solution because the Liberals were elected because we wanted really a turn around in the politics. And there was something that came out in the UK press, irreconcilable differences. I mean, what, what, were, the, what were the real differences in these talks which you could not get beyond? Well, um, on the procedure, uh, on the one hand, that means um, there were packages closed um, and then they were opened up again and again. So there was the one issue on, on trust. Um, the other is uh, really on special issues. For example, on the issue of um, migration, we had the... Um, the challenge to, um, to set up a completely package of uh, the whole migration issue, so the legal issue the, uh, on migration, uh, the qualification, migration, all these things. And so we could not find a way um, to do single points, but not the whole package, for example. Rebecca, I just want to quote your, uh, the Greens Party chief, who said, we were very close to an agreement until the FDP decided to leave the room. I mean, so it kind of implied that the FDP re were really to blame for the coalition talks failing. Is that, you'd say, a fair point? I think uh, for this uh, breakup of the talks on uh, Sunday, uh, it's a good description about what happened because all other parties uh, met again on Sunday morning uh, to continue till the end to find a compromise. And, uh, so what we know about uh, the decision-making process in, among the Liberals, obviously uh, this uh, phasing out of the process was uh, well prepared and was not a surprise. Both because even the campaign was prepared. Both of you mentioned compromise being the key, key words for both of you when you gave your yeah, answers. Co a coalition is always based on compromise and not on the programme of one of the parties. Yeah, but it was a compromise between you and the Union, not with the Liberals. That was the problem. Well, Elmer, let's bring you in there. There was compromise between the Greens and the CDU-CSU bloc, but not with the FDP. Is that a fair point? No. Most of the cases were also in agreement with the Liberals, and everyone had a few questions open. Even the main coalition of the negotiation had not even started. And, and also in that question, I think if, for example, the Bavarian Christian Democrats and the Greens can find a compromise on the migration question, then I do not see that the Liberals cannot have it, uh, the same agreement on that. I think they have planted from the very beginning. Their tweets on, for Sunday evening were prepared on Thursday already. And uh, here was a clear plan not to take responsibility. So, because uh, that is the question, to take responsibility, and Mr. Lindner is not born to take responsibility. Just to confirm then, so the, the FDP planned not to go ahead with the coalition. They, it, it, from Thursday, it was a pre-planned exercise that the FDP were always going to walk out of these coalitions. Our negotiators had the feeling that that is the case. And from Sunday morning, it was very clearly uh, that this was the plan. And uh, that uh, is the, the, the opinion of everyone else there. And uh, I think uh, the last second before it was closed in the negotiation, they went out because half an hour later they would not have a reason to went out. So, so was it then the FDP were being, it was just unreasonable? The FDP were, were not behaving in the spirit of a coalition talk? They were, it was not unreasonable in, in the way of the party politics, but that has to be seen. But it was unreasonable in the question of responsibility towards the state. The lack of responsibility towards the state. I'll just give you a chance to come back on that. Yeah, well, I think that's a m m typical myth uh, to say that we were well prepared uh, for the um, outgoing. That's not uh, not right. We are well prepared because we uh, tried to have um, our social media activities on all different issues which could uh, happen. So, so it's uh, really uh, crazy to say we prepared because look, we had. Look, we prepared if you talk, there was no trust. Yeah. and you start in a preparation to go out three days before, then I have to see where was no. not the trust. No, that, that means well prepared, but it, not the trust. It is well prepared. But um, so come back to the, come back to the issues. Not trust, trust to. For sure, the best uh, issue was the solidarity um, tax, yeah, for it's example. It's a very good issue. Yeah. We asked to show to, why it failed. We, yeah, we asked them, especially uh, the, uh, uh, the union, um, to stop it in this uh, term. But at the end, on Sunday, it 
show, was shown that it should not stop this term, but the next term it was exactly so your election. And that program. was the reason, was it? That was the fundamental. One, one, one of the reasons. So this yes. would mean that from the Greens we should have uh, so expected to get an agreement on the phasing out of the last coal-fired power plant on an exact date in the next legislation. So if you go with such an attitude to coalition talks, they will always yeah. fail. And I would like to to add, to, uh, add something. Because I think we have to deal with a new Liberal Party in Germany. It's not at all anymore about this old centered Liberal Party. We are talking about a new Liberal identity, very much uh, so on the national right, driving on the nationalist ah, mood. No, yes, absolutely not. <laughs> uh, against solidarity, the, the abolition of the so called soli is a symptom of what's going on in the Liberal Party. Um, and uh, it's so I, I think uh, very clear that many of uh, the observers are right who say that Mr. Lindner, the newcomer uh, on the national scene, uh, tries to play the same role as Sebastian Kurz, but he will fail. I just want to pick up on uh, what uh, Elmer said about on Thursday, it seemed as if it had already been decided the, that the FDP were not, were not going to take the coalition talks any further, but the, there was a, an exercise until Sunday when the walkout. Is that true, that, that really the decision had been made on Thursday? No, absolutely not. It, we, we are not really crazy. Or they don't like to negotiate as their hobby, so uh, no. for sure not. So gambling. we really try to gambling. find a solution. Gambling. Not, no gambling. We try to find a solution, and that's the reason why we worked really hard on negotiations on the weekend. But when you see that there is no chance to come to a reasonable um, solution, um, you cannot uh, say yes. But yeah. Have you been able to show how to replace the gaps in the German budget if you abolish uh, the SOLI in one legislation? No, you haven't been. So uh, you must be also a bit reasonable and more responsible, yeah? and not only about a U-turn of the whole country. This was just one issue. We had also a big uh, problem with the uh, education uh, system, so that we wanted to have in Germany, we have a federal system in education, so it is really uh, forbidden to, uh, for example, also to give money to the um, to the regions. That was something we wanted to stop. It uh, was also not that's possible. That's not true. Even now, money is given in education to the region. It was a discussion whether it should be more, yeah. as it was done until now, and it was agreed to give more. That is, I think, you believe that everything is wrong, but is not word by word your election program. And on that level, you cannot do that. And if the people's uh, parties say, all of them, let's face out of this uh, uh, special for East Germany text, the Soli, uh, then uh, I think uh, then it's a proper compromise to can achieve I, that. Can I just pick but you up on a... that would be your program. That's the point. OK, can I just pick up on a, on a, a comment which, which both you, um, uh, you Rebecca, and, and Elmer made? Gambling. You used the term gambling. Just, uh, Elmer, just explain what you meant by that. Uh, in response to Nadia. What, were the, what was the gambling? The gambling is to show that you have interest, but then to show that because of responsibility you go out, but it's just the other way around. And if you have, we could prove it, that the tweet which came out on Monday, Sunday night was prepared on, Tuesday, on Thursday already. All the details, you can find it out today. Is that you know, true? In a sense, then that, I must say, yeah, if you prepare she the, all the social media means to go out three days later, prepare before that, then I think it's well, let, let, incredible. Give story. a chance for Nadia to respond. Is, is that true? It was pre-prepared, the statement, everything was, was pre-prepared? For example, if we have votes here in the plenary, I also prepare a press release voting in favour or against or what it is. So takes. both options so, were yeah, prepared. Yeah, you do and that. You do that. That's the modern art of communication. So if you don't do that, I'm really sorry, but that's the standard. You prepare different options for sure. OK, let's just move on to the future options. And I just want to put the suggestions out and if, if, just to say if this would be somewhat, some, an option you'd like to pursue. A Jamaica revival. Would you think there is any miles in reviving a Jamaica? Well, it's probably, in our view, the best person as the FDP did walk out. Is there any appetite to continue the Jamaica coalition talks? Well, if there is really a uh, chance to, to have a uh, coalition talk on 
uh, all the issues, so that it's not only between the Greens but and in, the Union. But in the current yes. in the current situation, in the current, if if they said let's let's begin talks again this evening, would the FDP say yes? If there if there is a chance to get our points in and really to get and turn uh, in the politics, we would try again. And similar, would you would you want uh, to go back into the coalition, uh, Jamaica coalition? I think talk? if they change your opinion, it was debated about everything. The proposal of everyone was there. We declare the myth that is, uh, uh, the Christian Democrats and the Greens have prepared an agreement beforehand. That's I think ridiculous and uh, looks that the arguments of the Liberals are not very good. They were uh, on all the time on the table uh, in all the debates and there were no private debates between the Union and, and uh, the, uh, the Greens or if there were bilaterals and it was bilaterals within the FDP and the Greens and in the CDU and the Liberals. It was even on that Sunday a bilateral with okay. the Liberals. The Please other, do not tell us stories. The other option is the minority government starts. Let's just go to the FDP. Would you rule out a minority government deal with, with the Conservative bloc, the CDU, CSU? Well, um, it depends on the uh, um, compromises we could From find. From the experiences but of general, the coalition talks you've just walked out of, let's yeah. assume that the positions won't be changing much. Would you be happy to even consider a minority government? Well, I think um, we could uh, support uh, a minor minority government between the Union and the Greens by, uh, so by from, from issue to issue. So if the yeah, issues are... Yeah, issue basis, but nothing more than that, no, nothing... Not At that moment, not if there's not really a uh, change. And, uh, Rebecca, minority government with the CDU, CSU, would the Greens be happy to pursue that at this time? I'm not sure about this, I have to admit, uh, so it's uh, a huge gap in between a majority and uh, this uh, minority situation you described and I'm especially so regarding uh, to uh, the Liberals, um, I'm, I'm not sure that uh, we can rely after the experiences on uh, this group in the German uh, parliament because they explicitly say uh, they don't want a good management on the country based on democratic compromises, but they want a U-turn of okay. everything. And uh, Mr. Brook, okay. the idea of a minority government, the idea of new elections, what, what do you see as the, the way forward? First of all, now? we talk here to a British audience. The CDU would have had with a British election system an overall majority in the German parliament. But in the current, in the, in the no, German structure... No, that is, structure. you have to say, uh, and despite your uh, uh, election uh, uh, system, you have a minority government in Britain. Yeah. But they formed a coalition allowing them to no, have a have, stable majority, they so... Have, they have not, no, they have a minority government which is uh, supported by one party, a Northern Ireland party, so they make it clear we have not more destabilit uh, dis uh, 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 destabilization uh, as there is the United but, so Kingdom and we have to see and we have that no there might Brexit be a minority government for a short time just by the CDU is also one of the uh, okay. possibilities that okay. there will be new elections and uh, let's see what the President of the Republic will do in the next days. Okay. I see the interesting debates within the Socialist Party at the moment and uh, let's wait in which responsibility and then makes the possibility that Mr. Lindner can play the role of opposition leader without any responsibility, the role he likes most.